ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be my video on how to install Cyanjumon 10.1 on the Nexus 7. It was stuck in a boot loop and I had to do a factory reset and get it out of the boot loop. And so it was like, you know what? We've been wanting to put Cyanjumon on it for a while. Let's go ahead and do it. So yeah, first things first, you're going to want to go to the Play Store and you're going to want to download this app called Goo Manager. This is going to make this a super easy process and it's a free app. Um, just download it, wait for it to install, and when you open it up, for the when the first time you do it, it's going to want super user permission, just grant or allow it, and then you press menu, install open script recovery, press yes, and uh, I know I have that version, but I'm going to go ahead and press yes. If you're not sure which version you have, and you think you might have an older one, or you're just not sure, go ahead and press yes. It's Even if you have 250, it's not going to hurt to reinstall 250. So, whenever this is done, you'll have a little notification up here. When it's done downloading, it will automatically start saying recovery has been in installing custom recovery. Recovery has been installed. This is a Guda IM is being just completely terribly slow right now. So, we're not going to even wait for that to finish. There's just no way. We're going to go ahead and reboot the recovery and press yes. That's going to be the quickest way. Otherwise, you can just simply hold down. Uh, you can power the device off and wait a second when it turns off. It's just so, 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 so simple. It's definitely easier to just go ahead and press reboot recovery and press yes, but you may be stuck in a boot loop and instead of doing a factory reset, you're wanting to install a ROM. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Oh, and before you do this, this is going to wipe all your data. So if, um, make sure you use Titanium Backup and you back up all your apps. So you're going to hold down volume down in the power button and you're just going to keep holding it until you see this screen. Volume down, volume down, and then power when you see recovery mode. And that should hopefully bring you into that recovery that you just installed. And if you were installing 2500 up here, you should also see 2500. If you don't see 2500 up there, something didn't go right. So under wipe, you can just choose factory reset. That's all you got to do. It's that simple. Go back, go to install, and wherever you put that, um, you need the Sanjumon 10.1 zip, which I'll have a link to in the description below, and you also need the G apps. Without the G apps, you won't be able to get into the Play Store. So it could be on your internal storage, but I did not put mine there. I'm going to go ahead and press internal storage. I'm going to change mine to the flash drive, and then I'm going to go down here until I find CM 10.1 for the grouper, which is this device right here. We're going to go to add more zips and we're going to find the G apps. As of this video, it's JB 2013-0301. They haven't updated it in a while and they probably will. So you'll need to make sure you have two of those in there. So one of two, the second one being the G apps and the first one being the ROM. You just swipe to flash. It's that simple. This is going to install G RC3. You don't understand. We've been through monthlies and then RC1, RC2. Now we're on RC3. This is going to be completely stable. In fact, by the t the person watching this video right now, by the time you decide to go ahead and root your Nexus 7 and install a custom ROM on it, it might be CM10.1 completely stable. And it's going to be the same exact process as this video, except you're going to use the completely stable update, or, or if you want to be on the bleeding edge and you want to install nightly, same exact process. Uh, you know, this kind of works with any other ROM too. If you want to install AOKP, same exact way. Download AOKP, flash that first, then flash the G app second, and reboot. It's that simple. So, it's it's closing now. All we got to do is press reboot system. That's all you got to do. It's a, that simple. The device is going to boot up. Hopefully, instead of that little, like, thingy, you see Sanjamid. That, hopefully, you see it. Hopefully. Come on. Bam! Sage Mod 10.1 on the Nexus 7. So now you have this awesome custom ROM with many more features than if you were completely stock. <laughs> I highly, highly, highly recommend this ROM. There are tons and tons and tons of different ROMs out there, and it might be a little bit overwhelming for you, but to be completely honest, most ROMs 
take Cyanjamod. Some take Cyanjamod, AOKP, and other ROMs and combine them into one. Some take Cyanjamod and they apply their own apps on it or they remove apps and they just tweak things and change things. Sajamod's the core. Sajamod's where everybody gets their stuff from. So if Sajamod updates to RC3, all these other ROMs that are based off of Sajamod have to go, oh, now we have to update our, we have to build off the new base or the new update. And it's just, if you want the quickest updates, go to git.cm, look for the grouper, which is the Nexus 7 Wi Fi, and download it. This, this same exact method applies for the GSM version of the Nexus 7. I think there is one. Um, same exact method. So here we are. We can log into our Wi-Fi. Connect to the Wi-Fi. And then we get to log into our Google Play account. Okay. We are nearing the final. All right. This should be about it. Um, hopefully it logs. Yep. There we go. Restore tablet. Sweet. So now we have Cyanjumod 10.1, Android 4.2.2. Um, if this gets updated to stable, like I said, just flash to stable instead of the RC3. If RC4 comes out, just flash RC4 instead of RC3. Um, if, if, if it's that simple, it's the same exact method. You just if you're uh, if you're applying an update like RC2 to RC3 or RC3 to RC4, no, you do not have to wipe. You do not have to do a factory reset. If you're coming from CM10 then definitely do a reset. Uh, if you can risk it. You can try to apply like CM10.1 over CM10, but you might run into a boot loop. So just make sure you do an Android backup and make sure you back up all your apps with Titanium backup. So bringing down here is notifications, bringing down here is your settings, and we're just gonna show you stuff real quick. Um, you'll see no developer options. Just go to about tablet, go down here to build number and keep tapping on it. And now you'll see developer options and performance settings. So if you want to see a backup to work properly, you just go to Android Debugging, press OK. And also, I recommend going back and going to Security, and then going to um, Uncheck Verify Apps, check Unknown Sources, and Allow. That's if you want to use such any backup, because frankly, it's going to nag you and want you to do that. Anyways, one of the very first things I like to do when I get signed up on 10.1 is I like to go here and go to System, Status Bar. I like to show the little clock. Uh, I, I, on phones, I do small, but on a tablet, I'll probably do normal. Battery, I like to do circle with percentage, so you have an accurate number inside that circle with your battery. Very, very nice. And brightness controls, like you just... Ah, it's not working for me properly, but you're supposed to be able to change the brightness or something, whatever. Uh, show notification count, I also choose that. Also, like, when you unlock your phone, uh, Pi controls is pretty cool. That's a whole separate video in itself. Um, lock screen... If you go to slider shortcuts, you can actually like go to like say this one and change it to some other app for like for instance, you just press right here, go to applications, and then you can go to like downloads, for example, press OK and hit save. Now when you go to unlock the device, let me do it real quick. And then you unlock it again. You've got this little thing right here for downloads. So you can jump right to your downloads. Pretty freaking cool. Sajimon has a ton, a ton of options. You can choose what all shows up in this little notification area by going to um, system and then choosing quick panel settings and you can choose tiles and layout and you can just add stuff and delete stuff. It's all, all of it's, you know, changeable and customizable to your liking. For the power menu, I like to enable screenshot and uh, we don't use multiple profiles. Airplane mode, you might want to turn that on every now and then. So now when you hold down the power button, you'll see a screenshot. Oh, something real quick. Um, if you hold down the power button and you choose reboot, you only have that option. To have a recovery and etc. you should go down here to developer options. And then you choose... It's up here at the top, actually. Advanced Reboot. Now when you hold down the power button and you choose Reboot, you'll have Bootloader, which is like download mode, um, the bootloader. And then you choose Recovery to Reboot to Recovery and press OK. So it's that freaking simple. Now some a little Easter egg before I end this video is if you go down to the uh, About tablet and you do um, Android version, you've got this little thing right here. And you can easily like hold down on it, 
keep tapping on it actually and just like you get the jelly beans everywhere another thing you can do is if you go to about tablet and then you go down to Sanj mod version right here you get this little guy right here and you can you know <laughs> you can do the same thing you can just hold on him and you can just start flicking little things out of the way it's pretty cool and another benefit to Sanjamod is when you press the resnaps button, you've got this little button up here and it immediately closes everything out without individually swiping things out of the way. So I, if you have a Nexus 7, there's absolutely no reason you shouldn't download this ROM and try it out. If you need to return to stock, I have a video on that and just go to my channel and search for Nexus 7 videos or I'll even try to put a link to it in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it when you do that. It lets me know you enjoyed the video and you want to see more videos like this. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I've got many videos on the Nexus 7, Galaxy Tab 2, HTC One, S3, S4, <laughs> Note 2, uh, Note 3 when that comes out. I have so many videos and so many more videos to come. If you don't subscribe, you'll literally miss out on a lot of awesome content. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.